Hi, I'm Ashley Morrison and we're back at Live Fitness today with one of the Australian Baseball League champions, Liam Barron from the Alcohol Think Again Perth Heat. Well, Liam, obviously it must have been great to win that very first championship when the league had been revamped. Yeah, definitely. Um, having 10 or so years off uh, without a league in Australia, it was a, a great feeling to come out and uh, put the Perth Heat back on the map and win that inaugural year and, and uh, have a great time with the boys as well while doing it. There's something pretty special about the Perth Heat in that we've always done very well in the baseball competitions. I mean, what, why do you think it is? Um, I don't know. Perth's always just been a, a kind of city that's excelled in baseball. We seem to have a pretty tight, uh, a tight baseball league here. Um, our state league's pretty strong and we've developed a lot of professional players over the years. So um, I guess it came from a bit of cricket background as well uh, back in the early early years, but uh, these days we've got a pretty strong league and, and have created those professional guys. I've got to ask, what got you into baseball? Because you know, there's a lot of people would say cricket would be your first choice or you know, AFL or something like that, but why baseball with you? Yeah, obviously baseball is a pretty small sport in Australia. Uh, so growing up I used to play t-ball, um, played t-ball from the age of four. And I also had a cousin, uh, Dwayne Rochford, who played for the Perth Heat as I was growing up, around five or six. So uh, that kind of set my, um, my goals in life. I aspired to try and become a Perth Heat player and, and eventually reach that goal. So. Well, you also spent some time in America. I believe you won a scholarship uh, to Gonzaga University, was it? Yeah, that's the one. Uh, I went over there to play in the college uh, program over there. Uh, you, you go to school and, and take your classes there, and then you get to play the college sports as well. Um, so it's a, a bit of a different experience, but uh, something that's definitely shaped me um, and prepared me for the Perth Heat. Now, we know that baseball in America has played, I forget how many days of the year. Is it, they don't have many days off. Is it the same with collegiate baseball? Um, collegiate baseball is a little different. Your main series are over Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, but you do have series on a, on a Monday and Tuesday where you just alternate um, once every other week uh, just to uh, allow you to get more games in but still I need to get you to be passing those classes and making sure you're getting your grades. I mean is there a commitment that you must attend so many classes as well? Yeah definitely if, you, if you're skipping too many classes and you don't have any uh, excuses for it other than your letter from your coach uh, you unfortunately do fail those classes so there's some long nights after games spent studying and and handing in your assignments when you're on the road and having private tutors coming on the road with you as well. Now I also noticed you played in Alaska which is, I've got to be honest, it's not a place I think of as, as a great baseball sort of venue. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, Alaska's been a very old um, summer ball baseball league in the US. Um, it's kind of weird because when you first get there you're thinking Alaska, you know, you always think of the Alaskan winter, it's cold, there's no sunlight but uh, the summer's the complete opposite. The sun's up 24 hours a day. Um, we start a game at midnight and don't even use uh, lights at all. Um, and yeah, it's kind of weird finishing a game at 3.30 in the morning and there's broad daylight and you're just, just like, all right, well, let's go fishing now because that's the other big thing that Alaska's known for. So That must be really strange. I mean, it must change your whole way of life. Yeah, it's kind of weird at first, the first two weeks you're wide awake the whole time, you're always out doing things, you only spend a couple of hours of sleep, uh, but then it all of a sudden hits you and you kind of get into this time frame of blocking out the windows, putting down the shades and, and making sure it's really dark in your room so you do get those couple of hours of sleep that you need. Now you're a left-handed pitcher, which uh, I believe is a, a very specialist position within the team, and uh, apparently because it's so specialist, you tend to have a much longer career than your teammates, is that true? <laughs> Yeah, lefties generally don't throw as hard and we're a little bit different kind of breed to everyone else. So um, we're a little more funky normally, uh, don't throw as hard. So it allows you, your arm to kind of last that little bit longer. And um, playing a specialist role where you only come out later in the game and throw to a couple of hitters um, to get those lefties out, it kind of saves your arm that little bit more and allows you to throw day after day. And then I think there's a term used for a lefty called a loogie. Can you explain what a loogie is? Yeah, a loogie is just another term for a left-handed pitcher. Um, a more common one is a southpaw as well. Um, but yeah, they're, they're two names used to describe a left-hander. Um, obviously, a loogie is a bit of a, a weird name, which kind of you know, ex accents the, uh, the fact that a lefty is a little bit weird. So. Are they a sought after sort of, do, do teams look for a left-handed pitcher and is it a sort of very much a prized spot in the team? Um, you know, every team needs a, a couple of lefties for sure. Uh, 
you know, when you come against that team that has a lot of left-handed hitters, left-handed hitters generally struggle a bit more against left-handed pitchers. Um, so you always need that lefty specialist and maybe one or two lefty starters in your uh, in your rotation. Well, obviously the Heat are going for back-to-back championships. Uh, how is things coming together for the season at Heat? Um, you know, right now it's it's kind of tough to to decide on that one. Uh, a lot of the guys are still coming back from the U.S. and a few professional guys. Um, that are currently playing in the major leagues. So it's going to be interesting seeing what kind of restrictions are put on those guys and what kind of a team we can put together based on that. Uh, but, you know, we've always been pretty strong here in Perth and we're looking to go back and do it back to backs. Well, we wish you all the very best and we thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much.